Hi you guys! Thank you so much for joining me again today for another Chanel unboxing. I actually forgot I requested for this bag so when my essay messaged me saying that she has arrived I was like what? Really? Because it's so late now in the collection. I thought for sure it's not coming in. Yeah, well, I went over there to see her last week. I definitely fell in love with her and had to bring her home. I will share with you some vlog footage as well from the day when I went to pick up the bag. Ah, oh, she is so pretty. You guys will see at the end what other goodies I saw. Almost picked up a pair of shoes as well. Yes, yeah, stay tuned for the vlog and let me know if I should have bought those shoes. Let's maybe start off with a Chanel Beauty unboxing. The holiday packaging has finally arrived so you guys can see the gold wrapping is so pretty right? I love it. This is so beautiful and the wrapping paper is two-sided. Inside is the white and this side is the gold. Gorgeous. So I picked up the eyeshadow palette. This is the Lumiere Graphique eyeshadow palette. You guys would have seen me go into the store to swatch the shades. This is the box. On the side you can see it has the little sequin embossed on the packaging there. It's tilted to the light so you guys can see. Yeah, how stunning, right? This one definitely screams Christmas, New Year's, holidays. <laughs> comes in the velvet pouch and inside ta -da, is your gorgeous limited edition compact. So this one does have the gold Chanel logo. It's a little bit wider or longer than their traditional palettes which is more shaped like a square. Let's open this up. How stunning, right? Obsessed. And it does come with a longer brush this time. Little sponge applicator at the top and then a soft brush on the bottom. So I haven't used this brush yet. I think it's a very nice one to have for traveling. Show you the inside. How pretty is the sequin embossing? I can't get enough of this. <laughs> It is so gorgeous. Today I do have these shades on my eyes. I tried to use all the shades so you guys can see. It's pretty wearable, right? Like you don't have to use a lot of it. You can create a softer look. And I really love <laughs> the topper shade. This is definitely a surprise shade because it is so sparkly, but you do have to apply this with your finger. Otherwise, the sparkles don't really show up because it's almost like a glitter shade. So yeah, you really have to use the warmth of your finger <laughs> to tap this on and then you'll get these gorgeous little sparkles. You probably wouldn't like this if you don't like shimmer shades or glitter in your eyeshadow. I love glitter. Glitter and and shimmer is my best friend. Love all these five shades. I do see myself using this a lot so definitely had to pick this the up. The highlighter, in the end I didn't buy that one because I thought it was just too glittery. I have so many highlighters in my collection already from you know back when I was collecting makeup. I've never hit pan on any of my highlighters or even come close to making a dent on any of them. So there's no point me buying that one. Just having the eyeshadows is enough, I think. I do highly recommend this one. They really blend like a dream and are more wearable than you would think. I also received some new jewelry from Italo. It's always fun to discover new brands. And you guys know I love my fine jewelry, but sometimes you just don't want to pay thousands of dollars for one piece of jewelry, or you might want to experiment with more fun designs. This is where I think going for a more affordable brand might be worth looking into. Inside you have all of the certificates. This one says it's sterling silver. It does have the key instructions and how to return or exchange. It will come also with a polishing cloth. This is how your jewelry will arrive. Really nice blue packaging. Let's unbox this one first. Wow, 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 wow. Isn't that gorgeous? I really love this simple knot design. <laughs> 
this is so me, right? You guys know I love unique pieces and this one is super unique. I fell in love with this ring as soon as I saw it on their website. It just looks like a little bow, doesn't it? It is so pretty. So here it is on my middle finger. The size I chose is really good because you can go onto my index as well. And I think this ring looks really nice on your index finger. Can't stop looking at it. It is so pretty. I love anything pearlescent. The color shifts are so beautiful in the sunlight. I will show you guys some cutaways. The sizing chart on their website is really spot on. I went off that and ordered this ring in the size five and a quarter. It fits perfectly. Now, because I am a health professional here in Australia, I am constantly washing my hands and using alcohol swabs. So sometimes I just don't want to worry about my designer jewelry getting damaged. So recently I've actually stopped wearing all my Cartier, Hermes and Chanel rings to work. The alcohol and all the hand washing is probably, you know, wearing away the gold. <laughs> So anyway, I have been enjoying my not super expensive jewelry. When I'm not wearing any rings, I kind of feel like my hands are very naked. <laughs> so having a little bit of sparkle is always nice to look down on, especially when I'm there with the patients and they're army army and they can't decide which view looks better. <laughs> I can just look down at my hands and admire my jewelry. Also helps me de-stress a little bit. I also think they are great for traveling because I don't want to worry about my jewelry getting lost or stolen <laughs> when I'm overseas. And sometimes unfortunate incidents happen. You might misplace them. If you're going to countries that are unfamiliar, flashing a lot of designer things is just not ideal. <laughs> Especially where you don't know if a certain area is a more shadier area or not. But that's just personal preference. I know a lot of you love traveling with all your designer things and nothing bad's ever happened but yeah these days you gotta be careful i do love bringing some more non-expensive pieces with me when i travel now let me show What's you in the second box this one is a set of three rings this is great if you love stacking your rings you can definitely wear them separately as well if you prefer the thinnest one here this is perfect for stacking i have a tiffany and co ring it has two little diamonds on there i used to wear a lot of silver jewelry you can see how perfect it looks stacked with the tiffany ring so pretty right <laughs> And these ones also work on the middle finger. You know, I love dainty jewelry. So yeah, this is perfect. The second size, this one is also really nice to stack, but you can definitely wear it on its own. And I actually love wearing the thinner one and this thicker one stacked together. I'll show you. Isn't that so pretty? I love, love how that looks. I think these two complement each other really well. The emerald cut one is a bit bigger, very sparkly. It makes enough impact. <laughs> you only need one ring on your hand. It's you guys love statement rings, this one would be the perfect choice. Italo does sell these rings separately as well. I will leave them linked in the description box. But it is way better value to get the set because you get three rings for almost half price. All the pieces I got are sterling silver. The gemstones inside are all white sapphires. So yeah, they sparkle so brightly. I think my favorite will have to be the knot ring because it is so pretty and feminine and just 100% my buy. The way Italo is able to keep their prices low is because they are an online store. By eliminating the costs associated with having a physical storefront, the money saved from not having to pay things like rent, utilities, insurance, all the savings gets passed on to you. Italo offers free worldwide shipping and 60 day returns. They also have one year warranty on all their pieces. I think jewelry is always a very safe gift idea. So if you ever unsure what to get someone you can always fall back on beautiful jewelry so definitely have a look at Italo they do have super amazing pieces at super affordable prices I just love sparkle anything sparkly and glittery let me know which ring
Dream is your favorite. I will leave all the information in the description box. If you like anything you see, you can use Queen20 for 20% off your entire order. And that is on top of their sale prices. Thank you so much, Italo, for sponsoring this part of the video. Now onto the exciting reveal of my new handbag. I am so excited to show you guys. I couldn't believe my essay got this one in for me. My essay is just the best. She always remembers what's on my wish list. Didn't really chase her up on it because I just assumed it's probably not coming in. But yeah, she remembered and she messaged me as soon as it arrived in stores. <laughs> Can you guys guess what is in here? By the size of the box, you know, it's more of an SLG. I don't think any of you will be able to guess. Let me show you guys. It is so dreamy. I unboxed her yesterday for the reel, so I will be posting a separate reel for you guys. This is how it comes. The dust bag. I've got the wallet on chain in the gorgeous black and white tweed. Isn't this just the most stunning tweed you have ever seen? Oh, it is gorgeous and this one does have the pearl crush which is the adjustable chain. It has the turn lock and inside it is a tweed here and then leather lined inside. Six credit card slots. It's the chain. is fixed onto the D-ring here so it will not slide around like the normal classic wallet on chain. There is a slip pocket here and also a zip pocket and that's where the plug is for your cereal code. So yes, <laughs> another new bag to the family. What do you guys think? I really like this one because the gold, it is just matte finish gold hardware. It's not tarnished, which thank God, if it's tarnished, I probably wouldn't like it. <laughs> and on the little gold board, there is a little CC engraved. And because it is adjustable, you can wear it a lot more easier on your shoulder as well as crossbody. And you can adjust the chain with the little gold ball. This one is quite smooth, whereas in the past, especially the vanity, the chain gets stuck. <laughs> it's really hard to adjust. It's thought about maybe getting a mini with pearl crush, but they're so heavy. The gold ball adds a lot of weight to the bag, but because this one is tweed, tweed bags are lighter. <laughs> so this one I thought was the perfect combination. If I were to add a pearl crush, this would be the one. So she is perfect. It does have the Mona Lisa put it in the back. I never put anything back there, but it's nice to have. It is just so dreamy. Black and white, you really, really can't go wrong. This is just such a classic combination for Chanel. Because this tweed is very tightly woven, I don't think I'll have to worry too much about wear and tear or getting it dirty because majority of it is black. I do have my houndstooth tweed bag from, oh, what season is it from? I think it's 20S. So here is the circle bag <laughs> with the Chanel ribbon. So this one is also very beautiful. And you guys would have seen this bag in my Chanel handbag collection video. If you haven't seen that video, I'll link it above. This tweed, it's a lot more delicate. So all the little strands, they're very thin. I do have to be quite careful with this bag. There's a lot more white on there compared to black. The white squares do tend to get more dirty or will get color transfer if you're not careful. So <laughs> this one, is definitely a very, very treasured piece in my collection, but I do have to handle her with care. But something like this is going to be super hard wearing. I do have another tweed, which is the Chanel 19. This is also from 20S. So yeah, if you guys have watched my Chanel handbag collection video, you would have known about this bag. This tweed is also a very tightly woven tweed. I think the new wallet on chain, the tweed is very comparable to this Chanel 19 tweed, but they're of course still different. They look very pretty together. They could be distant relatives, right? <laughs> 
So now I have three tweed bags in my collection, these two side by side, and the hardware on all three of them is different. So this one is in more matte gold. My houndstooth one is in champagne gold hardware. And then of course the 19 has three different types of hardware. Gold, ruthenium, as well as silver. So yeah, very happy with my tweed bag collection. Now, if you guys remember, I do also have another wallet on chain in my collection. It is the beautiful 19S iridescent pink. Ta-da! Here she is. She is so pretty. I don't think I can ever get rid of this bag. Show you the two together. I just really love how this one has the turn lock and this one is the mother of pearl CC. So yeah, they're both very different. Now let me show you quickly what can fit in my Chanel wallet on chain. You can maximize the space by getting a base shaper. So these ones are sent over from Sumuni. This color is so nice. I will link this one down in the description box. The way it works, oh, forgot I had my nail file in there. So you just pop that down at the base and you can see that really maximizes the space that you have inside the wok. With such a small bag, I would not recommend getting an organizer just because it will really take up the space. You want to access your credit cards and things like that here. You don't really want the organizer blocking that. I'll just show you inside you can fit your phone and then you can pop in your mirror, your keys, earpods, and then there's still room so you can pop in a like, product. That all fits nicely. If you want, you can put a nail file in there as well. <laughs> and that will be able to close just so this is definitely a max capacity. This one, because it's a tweed, you can probably pack a little bit more into it because it's quite flexible. Whereas with leather, it might show bulges a lot more. And I just wanted to show you this cute little perfume. <laughs> How cute is this? So if you guys like to carry perfume with you in your bags, instead of having your airport case, you can have the mini perfume if you have something else very slim you can put it there when i used to wear my pink wok i didn't have a base shape but it really restricted <laughs> how much i can fit inside especially after i put the phone in i just felt like it can't fit anything else but as you can see here it can actually fit quite a lot you just need to get a base shaper it is really a game changer this now has the base shaper inside and you can see it really stretches out that face and gives you a lot more room. It does fit quite a lot for a small SLG, right? Very happy with this one, especially for the price. It is still somewhat affordable for Chanel. <laughs> The wallet on chain now in Australia is 6,540. This is the Pearl Crush. So the traditional wallet on chain without the Pearl Crush will be slightly cheaper. Usually by about a thousand dollars, it will be like 5,500 or thereabouts. It is a design that I don't have in my collection. And you know me, I love collecting Chanel. So I thought having at least one pearl crush is a good idea. <laughs> if you guys also don't like this dangling bit, you can just tuck that inside and wear it like this. Let me show you some vlog footage now of this bag on. You can just tuck in the strap like that and it looks a lot more neater. <laughs> Right, so yeah, you can tuck the whole thing inside if you want to use this as a clutch. Yeah, it looks really nice as a clutch. You can leave the gold ball outside so it's not taking up room. I think it's a very special piece and definitely worthwhile adding to my collection. I'll show you guys the lock footage now and you guys can see all the other bags I tried on. So let's go shopping! They still had the tweed box bag from my Chanel 23k shopping vlog. My essay brought it out so that I can compare them. What do you guys think? <laughs> do you guys prefer the box bag or the wallet on chain? I just can't get over the little feet. They are so cute. 
The box bag is definitely larger and also it does have shiny champagne gold hardware which is usually my preference. On the wallet on chain it's more of a matte gold hardware. I think it looks really nice as a clutch. What do you guys think? The most unique thing about this bag is the turn lock opening. As you know, most wallet on chains, they are just a magnetic closure. So this one being a turn lock, I do really love this detail. Are you guys fans of the Pearl Crush? If you don't like the look of that gold ball, you can just wear the bag on the right shoulder and the ball will be on the back so you won't actually see it. So it'll just look like a very classic wallet on chain if you wear it this way. Saw these super cute denim sling bags. I believe they are from 23B. I love the heeled version. Unfortunately, they did not have my size. They also have the darker shade. Which shade do you guys like better? The lighter denim or this one? Which do you think matches better to my Mini 22? Surprisingly, I fell in love with this pair because of the camellia print and the chain detail. This one here is from 23A, I think very surprised they still had this one. Which pair of denim sling bags do you like better? Here's a closer look at the details. Should I have gotten them? <laughs> After trying both pairs on, I much prefer the ones from 23A. This pair just looks okay, like meh, it's nothing special. Look at these, <laughs> they're so interesting with the chunky sole. The beige ones look really nice. They look very comfortable. I'm not really a fan of this camellia print. Personally, I think it's a bit too busy. The heart shape is cute. I don't mind these boots. These are nice too, with a low heel and the CC on the back. They have the black and white tweed in a larger style as well. I'm surprised the heart shaped earrings are still available. Did you guys get these lipsticks? Wish they had more nude shades because I don't wear red or bright colors. This is the leather version of the box bag. I'm not too sure if I like this long <laughs> style. You can see it kind of looks a bit awkward, <laughs> like too boxy and the proportions look a bit off. I quite like this phone holder with the pearl crush. It's a good size actually. What do you think of this tweed? It's got pink, black, white and gold. So quite pretty, but I still prefer the one I got, which is the black and white. I like how with this one, the strap is shorter. So when you are wearing a crossbody, 
there's not too much of the excess chain hanging out like with the wok. They did have this tweed in the square mini with the pearl crush as well. The phone holder only fits my large size iPhone if I take the case off. The phone holder is quite pricey. It comes in at $6,010. The square mini flap with the pearl crush is 8,100. You can also see the chain on this one is much shorter than the one on the wallet on chain. Here's how it looks with the strap shortened for shoulder wear. I think I told one of you that the pink classic flap in my latest shopping vlog was from 24C but it may actually be from 23K unless they're just two very similar pinks. <laughs> Look at the fluffy vest. These black and white tweed shorts look so nice. So what did you guys think? Did I pick the correct bag? I think I did because the pink tweed, even though it's pretty, I don't think it's for me. It's just a bit too girly and also a bit more busy. I prefer my tweeds to be more classic and more simple. So yeah, this one is just perfection in my opinion. What do you guys think about the sling bags? <laughs> the denim ones? with the camellia and chain detail. I don't know why my mom didn't really love those. So I think that put me off a little bit because if she doesn't like something, it's usually not worth getting. <laughs> so yeah, anyway, I decided not to get those shoes. If they had the black and white one, would have matched this bag so perfectly. I think Chanel Cruise 24C <laughs> will be launching next week. So I will be going back to the boutique and I'll take you guys shopping with me again. Let me know what you guys think of my new baby. And if you guys have any name suggestions, I am all ears. Please leave them in the description box. I will hopefully pick a name that resonates with me. And yeah, I'll see you guys very soon in the next video. Bye.